Are you like me? Have you been putting off decorating in Disney Dreamlight Valley for the longest of time because you're worried about the amount of items you have? Well, I finally decided I'm going to just do it. I'm going to decorate and just see what happens. And the area that I'm going to play with today is my plaza, as I feel like this is a real focal point of the whole valley. So I'm going to try and do three different design ideas, show you how I did it and what it looks like at the end. So hopefully I can inspire myself and also inspire you guys as well. Just bear in mind, I don't have a lot of items at the moment. So really going to just try and see what works with what we've have. I feel like you guys will be in the same boat as well, but I can't wait to unlock more. Let's get started. So for number one, I've gone with this kind of crossroads design, which I thought would be nice so that you can kind of fork off to whatever area of your valley that you like. For the centerpiece, I'm going to have a fountain. You might not have this one, but there are lots of other fountains you can have. The tiered one is really nice. And then one of the first kind of designs or furniture pieces that I unlocked with these flower beds, which are really nice. So I'm just going to put them on the edges of the path but I'm leaving a gap it's like one and a half spaces between the corners so that we can get some fencing in there later I really just love the way that these flower beds are uh, the color options are really nice as well when you unlock more of the different flowers so here is the fencing that I've gone for I don't have a lot of fencing um, I did try crafting some of the iron and the brick fencing but boy that is expensive so we're just going to use a white picket fence which I'm not mad about um, and then I'm going to kind of interlock that with the flower beds I just thought it'd be a nice height variation mix up a different kind of um, levels and things um, and then we're going to put them on each of the ends to really act as the ending of the kind of whole build and then it can segue into the plaza and the steps either side so I really like this idea I think it's cute I think the colors work with the flower beds as well just a nice little way to to go about things that isn't flowers and bushes so it would be really easy to just put flowers and bushes everywhere but we're not going to do that and then I'm going to add in some lighting so I've got these wrought iron ones which are nice and then I thought because the fountain's looking a little bit bare I'll add some of these cute little rocks that I've been seeing everywhere these are great items um, I think the community has done a really good job of utilizing these so far and basically all of the landscaping um, items so great design tip there if you're looking for a border and you don't really have any fences because they all seem to be quite tall as well so the rocks make a good De decorating tool basically um, I have kind of mixed up the directions that they're facing just to add a bit of interest here um, but they do work really nicely either way you could have them all uniformed or all mixed up whatever works for you and then I thought it'd be nice to add in some benches these are really the only benches that I've got at the moment um, I have seen some really nice frozen ones which I can't wait to get my hand on they look really really nice um, so that's kind of it for furniture wise so really the only furniture you need is a fountain two benches four street lamps some fencing and some flower beds um, and then the rest is all going to be foliage so this stuff is what is free in the game you can have a limit of it you don't need to craft it which is great and where I'm placing these I'm trying to do it as like a diagonal so I've got the fence and then diagonal behind that I've got the plaza tree and then behind that I've got the light birch tree we do not want that birch tree <laughs> then we just want the small ones so if you just change it out if you're like I don't want to use this just put it down somewhere else and remove it later so those are the trees now I'm going to add in some bushes I don't necessarily like using the biome specific bushes I really like the Dazzle Beach ones just because they have white flowers on them but I didn't think that that would be great for this build because there's some pops of blue in the flower beds so I wanted to incorporate that in the bushes that I'm using so I'm just again trying to do these on a bit of a diagonal but they're either side of where the tree is as you can see here I don't know what difference it really makes but it just makes me feel like I'm doing something that's symmetrical and I feel like this build calls for a bit of symmetry so I'm really trying to work that in and then I've gone in with a normal bush I couldn't decide which bush to use I really wanted a bigger one but I couldn't figure out which one it is I guess over time we'll learn which ones are the bigger ones and which ones are the smaller ones but 
when I look at this, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's just so many bushes. I can't decide which one to use. So um, yeah, we found one in the end. And again, this one went diagonally behind the light birch tree. I love this color of green. It's so luscious, so pretty, gorgeous. And then just making sure we can get it behind. Okay, and then the final thing that I want to add is some tall maple trees just to give the build some height. I know what maple tree I'm looking for. I'm wanting the one that kind of bows down and it curves. Um, so that's why I'm just randomly placing these down over here. There it is. That is the one that we want. And then not that one. Not that one. <laughs> the trees, I feel like I wish there was an easier way to do this. Um, so they're nice. They're all really nice, but I want them to curve in so it kind of frames the whole area, which is why I'm being so specific. You might think, why are you being so nitpicky? But that's why. Because if you look, they like bow over the whole kind of um, portal area so it looks really nice and then down here I'm just going to use some of the smaller ones I don't you, I mean you could have it um, with the bendy ones as well but these ones look and work fine as well okay so here is what it looks like bird's eye view from above as I say, I think it's a really nice, simple, quite a clean little plaza area. You've got some pops of color with the flowers and the bushes, lots of green. You could add in your own little flowers as well. Makes a perfect spot to sit down and watch the world go by. I'm quite happy with this one. It's not too bad. Let's see what we come up with next. Okay, next up, I decided to do like a marketplace area, quite rustic barrels everywhere yes this is going to fulfill my rustic barrel core need for this game so i have for this one decided to try and curve my edges this i first saw by yilly underscore cozy underscore games on twitter amazing plaza build if you're looking for more inspiration go and check her out it's beautiful so for this i've kind of laid down my path and then i'm going to add in the bushes to help create that illusion that is nice and curved this hides all of the kind of sharp edges that's created by the paths if you're not someone who likes squares and corners and things then you should definitely give this a go it does work it does work really well mine is going to take more of an oval shape because i didn't want it to be too wide didn't want it to be too big and i wanted to get some trees in there but it can work either way it can work off for rounding off path corners when you're wanting to do like transition areas as well so that's really nice and so we're going to start building on the center area now i've added it added it added in the trellises for the entrance ways and then i'm going in with some lamp posts because you need some lighting and then for the centerpiece i'm using the clock tower love this item fits with this idea wonderfully and then i'm gonna add in tables stools i'm also gonna get christoph stool in here um which is wonderful because we can't get one of the mickey stools uh mickey goofy stools in here unfortunately but i do like this one because it matches the roof matches the other stools that you can actually craft so that's really good and i think it works out really well and then here is some barrels obviously i warned you i gave you pre-warning that there would be lots of barrels in this build <laughs> so there's a few maybe i didn't go as over the top as i could have done um but i definitely think i might redo this one um make some small changes to it once it's done um because i'm not sure about the color of the bushes now i'm looking back at it because i want it to be kind of like the forest of the law kind of colors but i was so kind of over the top excited because they have white flowers on the bushes but nonetheless maybe that's a sacrifice we have to make so question for you guys i accidentally put a stool i didn't accidentally do it i put a pile of books onto the stool and now i can't figure out how to take it off because i can't do it <laughs> so those books are stuck there so what i'm going to do is make this into a little kind of book stall area um which i thought was cute because there is so many book related furniture items and i'm here for it honestly um the book piles are really nice the big pile of books is nice and the singular book that's like open is nice as well so I think that's enough book talk. We're kind of, it's taking shape this whole market area now. And I'm really liking the way that it's coming together. 
just need to get a few more areas done get some smaller items in as well just to kind of put on tables and things it is a little bit disappointing as to how many items you can't actually put stuff on it feels quite limited and i don't know if that's just because we're used to animal crossing um i would love to be able to put items on the barrels um but saying that i do love the barrels controversially i might like them a bit more than the animal crossing ones i don't know what it is about them they just feel a little bit more rustic and i kind of love the tone of the wood on them and the options yes i want a decaying barrel thank you very much so over here I've just added in another little stool with the items on, added in the cart because I thought that would be a nice addition as well. And then it's just some smaller items scattered around. Um, the wooden bucket I thought that was a nice touch as well. Um, and then I'm just really trying to figure out what items I can use. I don't have that many items, I really am trying to kind of use everything that I do have to its maximum potential. Um, I have been ordering lots and lots from Scrooge, but even the 25 limit is kind of starting to feel a little bit not enough, <laughs> which when you've come from Animal Crossing and everything, you can only order five a day. I think maybe I'm just being a little bit greedy, but I want to decorate and I want all the items, so it's hard. It's hard. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for now. I think that's that's it for the market area I don't want to overcrowd it too much so what I'm going to do next is add in some trees just to add sort of a backdrop to the whole area so I said I wanted it to be quite foresty so I'm going to use the fir trees and get them added in um, just scatter them around I don't really want any symmetry for this build I mean the whole kind of area is pretty symmetrical so I don't think we need the outer edges to be very symmetrical at all so I've added in some bigger trees as well it does say small oak tree um I would like to debate that it doesn't seem very small to me <laughs> and then I'm gonna add in some bushes as well just some more greenery um I keep forgetting that we can go in and drop flowers as well I will do that at some point um but for now I think it doesn't need it in this build this particular build anyway um, I think what I will do as well, just to frame the area a bit more, is add some more trees down the bottom here. And I did remember that you can actually add stumps, and I didn't know you could put it on the path, so that's a good, good know-how there. Um, I wanted to have a smaller tree, but they weren't quite right, so I did go back to the small oak trees. And then here it is. This is what it looks like finished. So I do really like the shape of this build. I really like all of the furniture that I've placed down. Not so sure about the bushes, but we'll live with them for now. And then maybe we'll change them up later. Let me know what you think about this one. Would you like a market in your Dreamlight Valley? So for the final design idea, I thought it would be nice to do something a bit more square. So I came up with the idea of using these lovely topiary items that I got from Scrooge and doing a sort of walled garden idea. So I've laid out the path and left two spots for the topiaries. So that worked out perfectly. And then I'm gonna use the trellises to help create that walled garden feel. These are such a nice item, really love them. And the trellis arch is really nice as well. So I'm just gonna put these on all of the corners because otherwise I would have been crafting all day. Even though we have bulk crafting, I think we would have needed quite a lot of these. Um, and we do want to add some sort of detail in here. So I'm just putting them on the corners. Um, I think this works quite nicely. So you get that pop of brown, but I really want this to be luscious and green, lots of plants here. So this is what we're doing for now. And there we have it. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add in some benches, just cause you want somewhere to sit in your nice luscious garden. Um, and then these round planters, I just popped them down so that we could kind of conceal the area between where the path meets the actual kind of in-game plaza and the steps area. Cause I don't like the join, the join isn't great. And then adding in some lights, did think about using the iron ones, but thought these would be better. And then here comes the greenery. These small plaza hedges, I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to use these but I think these are perfect for this build to add a backdrop to where the gaps are and then I'm going to add in some trees as well just to help frame the area make it look cute using those leaning 
trees they're just wonderful aren't they gorgeous um, and then I didn't want leaning trees down here, but I changed my mind <laughs> We're gonna have them down here as well and just normal trees where the steps are. I got lucky. I got lucky with my trees um, Wasn't too bad at all. Normally it's painful and then just to add some more flowers um, We're gonna have them in front of the hedges so that they're not just left bare um, I would like them a bit bigger the gaps just didn't work out right, but hey it still looks okay and then I wasn't sure what else to add I felt like it needed something else so in the corners of where the trellises meet I added in some of these small plaza trees I'm not really a big fan of like topiary type things but these work for this build for sure so here is what it looks like I think it turned out quite well it takes up just the right amount of space you can totally walk around it I think it's just a nice kind of segue between the plaza and then down into the meadow, uh, meadow and it works really nicely. The topiary items really are the standout here. Gorgeous. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you got inspired. I definitely am and I'm definitely more motivated to do more decorating and I can't wait to get my hands on some new items to do more build videos for you guys. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again soon with another one. Bye bye.